welcome to my own version of vlogmas i'm just gonna be upping my content and posting all sorts of random stuff on this page <laughs> today though it is actually time for me to do some house organizing clearing out decluttering play with the dog at some point as well and um just organize my life organize my life and how can i forget put my christmas tree up Woo! not gonna lie to you guys i did not i didn't actually want to put a tree up this year but my friend zoe had no she she was not hearing it and she said no you're not gonna let life get you you are going to grab it by the horns and enjoy so um, I put, picked up a couple of bits over the past week. Um, I got these handles for my bathroom. Guys, I really feel like revamping my bathroom a little bit. I know, I know. But I just think I have one life. Like, you literally just have one life. I <laughs> also picked up these baubles. I don't know how I feel about them. So we're going to see. And if I don't like them, they're going to go right back. They were, they even make it sound in messy. $6.99. Um, that was home sense. I think this is going to actually be really nice if it will just focus. Focus, will you? There you go. Richie! <laughs> I have got other baubles, obviously. I've lived in this flat for six years and I've had a tree every year and I have accumulated quite a lot of baubles, which when I put the tree up today, I'm going to get rid of a lot of them as well. So now I am actually clearing out my bathroom. So I have a black bag in the bathroom that I am just getting rid of old beauty products, makeup products. As you can see, we're gonna go through these products. Looking at it now, I don't think there's actually that much to get rid of because I actually recently did this. I've already started filling up. I had an excess of makeup and things in like pouches that were just on the side and I just don't want any clutter. So I really like Liz L products because I find them to be quite spa-like. <laughs> so these are the handles they actually look so so good i'm really happy with them i think they blend in really well they're not doing too much they're subtle they're neutral they're actually really pretty for eight pounds i have done the bathroom it looks really nice really fresh got another load of washing to do now i've got a paintbrush and some paint because i need to paint these areas i used to have art here if you guys remember and I just got bored of them, sick of them, wanted it to be a bit more stripped down. But it's left this. For anyone wondering, this Hoover, okay, excuse the dirt. I got this Hoover from Amazon during Black Friday. I think I paid like 30 pounds. This actually does the job. I will leave a link to this vacuum um, because it just gets it done. The only annoying thing is it's not cordless. It is plug in, but it's super light and I like it. And it's long, so I don't have to like bend. I'm just stand it. <laughs> I find it hilarious that I've vlogged the whole day, not done my hair or my makeup. <laughs> But my skin's not that bad because of all that skincare. I actually just came back from HomeSense as well um, after doing the tree. I'm going to show you the extra bits that I bought because I've already put them out. Sorry. Um, but I also bought some stuff for the bathroom. <laughs> So simple, well, I got soap in my hands. 
Can you see the texture? It's just so simple, but the texture is nice and it's not stark white. It's like a creamy color with some speckles. Uh, can you see? Yeah, there you go. That's all nice and tidy now. It looks really cute. You probably can't really tell the difference, but I can. I'm gonna go now to the living room. Sorry, but my skin. Not my hair though. Okay, so there's the tree. There's your sun. <laughs> um, it's just a bit messy in here, so I need to just figure out what I'm doing. I actually think the tree with the chair looks nice. I just think I can move the tree down a bit, bring the the TV out of the corner a little bit and just space things out because it's looking very cluttered. You saw all the bits I put up. You saw me put my infamous um, new house front door. What did I just buy? <laughs> okay i bought one gold branch like it had a few and i just broke it up and put a few in there just to stick out a bit maybe in this this week i'll go and get another one because i actually did pick up two but i was like jay you're doing the most like it's not that deep and i just bought one but now i'm like oh it would actually look nice with another one but the tree is looking a lot busier now because before it looked bare so i think you may have seen i already had this acorn like garland for the past two years I never use it, but I used it, and it only stopped up to there, <laughs> and then the rest was empty, so I just went and bought another one from HomeSense, which is pretty much similar, and then up here, you guys saw I stuck my branches that used to be in that corner inside, both of them, but I just bought these little um, orange berries. Um, again, I did pick up two, but then I put it down. I think one's enough. I think it's enough, like, yeah. I like it. And the orange berries, like, it ties in with the rest of the tree. I just made dinner it is sea bass with uh, lemon and butter and a little bit of curry and then lots of greens underneath doesn't it look so good I'm gonna enjoy this hi guys welcome back to another day of the vlog I do not know where this vlog started but I'm leaving the house again, nothing new. I just did my makeup over there. Now I'm heading out to go and film a development for Hamptons, who you know I do some like work with. And then from there I'm going straight to Lakeside Shopping Centre because I'm gonna be doing like a PR gifting situation with River Island, well it's their new store, River Studios. So that's my plan for today, it's Friday. My hair looks so good, guys. I don't know if I've posted already, but there will be a hair review slash tutorial on how I do these curls. So watch that video because I have a new technique, which is not anything groundbreaking, but it's new for me and I'm really, really enjoying the look that it's giving me. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing. Just this black Zara top that I've had for a little while now. I just thought it was just simple, but does something. I'm wearing these <laughs> Zara trousers. They're like the really light, light, light pastely green um, legging denim sort of things. I'm wearing my golden goose trainers that I live in. I'm gonna wear the Zara coat, you guys. I think I told you I wasn't really feeling it that much originally, but I'm feeling it now. I'm gonna put it on because the property I'm going to see is not that far from me and I need to pull these out. I love the orange inside. I wish though you could see it more from the the outside, if that makes sense. I'm already hot in this, but yeah, I'm wearing this coat from Zara, which is not, I wish it was cropped, not going to lie. I said to myself, as if I'm casual today, it's fine. As long as my face looks like a Barbie doll and my hair looks like a Barbie doll. And my nails, please guys, I've had no time to get them done. They are so chipped. From far, you can't really tell, but up close, you can see the black chipping off. Um, I just don't know when I'm gonna have time to do it. Probably next week. So I'm gonna leave the house. Richie does not look impressed, but he's all sorted, walked, fed, everything. And I felt like 
bringing out this oldie today randomly i spot it and i was like oh because i never wear my tom ford um scent so today i'm giving you rich rich niece <laughs> with the tom ford oh this is the velvet orchid it's so nice it's very similar to a new scent that i have but i think the newer one is a little bit stronger wow i'm not sure if you guys can see me because it's so sunny where i am this is the stuff people don't show you so i am literally in the middle of nowhere right now amongst farmhouses country houses on a country lane literally in someone's like by someone's gate because the postcode that I've got for this development is taking me to nothing and the roads are blocked. So I'm waiting for the estate agent to call me and direct me. This is what happens when you're going to some really off the grid, like new developments that don't even, they haven't launched properly yet. And they, the postcodes that don't actually locate you to the place. It's just like, ah! And I'm on a tight schedule. We made it guys, we made it, we made it. I went through, I'm gonna show you on the way back. Are you guys seeing this? This is what I had to drive through to get here. It's crazy. All right. And now I need to go down here. So it's a very, very rural, private <laughs> kind of development. All right, guys, I'm in Lakeside now. So I'm going to take you guys to River Studios and see what it's all about. And it's packed. So took me a little while to get a space but I got one this is literally where I park all the time I walk into Primark and then Zara and everything's quite close by there's so much stuff look at these jeans I'm gonna pick up loads of things and take it to the fitting room and try them on. How cute are these as well? This is nice. How nice is this? Anyway, how cool is this, you guys? So basically, anything you put on here, it will like sense it and then you can literally like get more details, order another size, ask somebody to bring you another size it is so good i'm excited i'm so excited to try this stuff on i got some more stuff there <laughs> but i just wanted this to look nice for a moment so i'm gonna try some bits on now shall we do the coat first since it's here let's do the coat um yes this coat is so cute the cut of it the length it's perfect it's like a mini version of um, my long one that I have at home with the fur here and the fur on the sleeves but this is like a really cute style and this is the size 6 because I wanted it to feel fitted I don't want any oversized I've already got that one for oversized um, but I really really like this this is so cute I think I think I'm getting this jacket absolutely these trousers they're a size 6 told you guys I always size down with a ride let me come closer oh my gosh what they're so nice so they're not super flared on the bottom they're just like you know they're like that and they are so nice and fitted and they literally accentuate yeah these are coming home with me how pretty is this so i really really like it i just don't know how much wear i'd get out of it it's one of those pieces that i'd wear once take an amazing picture go out somewhere and i'll probably never wear it again but I do like it, I do. I actually like it with these trousers in an interesting way. It's really cute. And this is a size six as well. I really like this. I need a black bustier that isn't boring. Um, I had to get a size 10, so I got an A and it basically doesn't have any zips or buttons so you have to put it over your head. Clearly I have broad shoulders because it was not going over my shoulders. So I used this and then I got someone to bring a 10 for me 
and I got this over and it actually fits so I feel like this should really be an eight and that one should be the six um, and I think it's because there's no zips or anything on it okay so this is the last top and I really like this waistcoat it's so cute this is the size six I think it's still a little bit big so I would probably end up sewing it at home but the concept of it is really nice I look really suited and booted in this outfit and I also forgot to show you guys this really cute bag like how adorable are you oh. I've had so much fun in here right I'm gonna go out now and look at the shoes and I'm gonna take these things with me just crazy because you guys know I never wear black but <laughs> I'm clearly loving black right now I don't know what is going on with me but I'm feeling the black right now so I'm gonna go with it <laughs> so I really like these so I'm gonna use this system to request this size so I can try them on so I've got those ones waiting and those ones. So I'm gonna try both of them on in a size six. But this is so easy and helpful. So that's where it is there. So I'm on this really cute, colorful sofa. It matches the fitting rooms. It's like very ivy. All right, so I've got all my stuff, but I'm gonna go down to the men's and see if I find anything for my boyfriend. Cause I've still got some money left over. So let's see what we find. So I've come to Cartier to try out my favourite watch. I think I've told you guys about it before. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just check it out and see what it's looking like. So I really want to look at like bedding stuff, I think. Oh, but this is so cute. Okay, I think I need this. Two nine nine. okay. I'm going to get this new set haven't got new one in a long time how cute is this though oh, i feel like i need this too 